everybody. Welcome to PJ Storytime. I made a cute little tent. You can't really see the little twinkling lights. Um, but this is Miss Amanda's PJ Storytime for the Wilmington Public Library. And I am dressed as a unicorn. And I got a unicorn book to read. Good night, unicorn. I also have Night Night Emily. And these are my friends. I have a lot of bears and a bunny. So let's get on to Night Night Emily. <clears throat> it was bedtime, but Emily couldn't find her favorite bear, Mr. Teddy. She had looked everywhere. I have my Mr. Teddy right here. Mommy took her in with quackers, the duck instead. Night, night, Emily. Good night, quackers, said Mommy. Night, night, Mommy. And quackers, said Emily. Quack, quack, said quackers. Emily should have fallen asleep then. But she couldn't. The bed was too cold. Oh no! Emily got up to look for Stripe, the cat. Night, night, quackers and Stripe said Emily. Meow, said Stripe. Quack, quack, said Quackers. Emily should have fallen asleep then, but she still couldn't. The bed felt too empty. Oh no! Emily climbed out of bed and found Hoots, the owl. Night, night, quackers, and stripe, and Hoots, said Emily. Hoo, hoo, said Hoots. Meow, said stripe. Quack, quack, said quackers. should have fallen asleep then, but it was impossible. The bed felt too hard. Oh no! Emily decided to look for Buttons, the dog. She went downstairs and found him behind the curtains. Night-night, Buttons, and Hoots, and Stripe, and Quackers, said Emily. Woo-woo, said Buttons. Woo-hoo, said Hoots. Meow, said Stripe. Quackers didn't say anything. He had already fallen asleep. Emily should have fallen asleep then, too. But she felt wide awake now. The bed covers were too loose. Oh no! Emily got up to get Wooly Lamb. Night, 
night, night, everybody, said Emily. Bah, said Wooly Lamb. Woo, woo, said Buttons. Woo, woo, said Hoots. Meow, said Stripe. Quack, quack, said Crackers, who had woken up with all the talking. But now, Emily should have been fast asleep, but something still wasn't right with her bed. The pillows were lumpy. Oh, no. What's under here making all these lumps, said Emily. She peeked under and found Mr. Teddy. Oh, I was wondering where you'd gone. I looked all over for you. That bed is getting really full. Emily put away crackers in the toy box, and she put stripes back on the shelf, and she put hoots under the bed again, and buttons and woolly lamb went back down the stairs. Emily and Mr. Teddy settled down under the warm, cozy covers. Night, night, Mr. Teddy, said Emily. Grrr, said Mr. Teddy, and Emily fell fast asleep. At last, because the bed felt just right. Mr. Teddy should have fallen asleep then, too. But suddenly the bed was much too full. The end. We got one more, but my cat Lyra is coming in. Go, go. She wants to listen to the bedtime stories too. But there's no room in this tent. Good night, unicorn. And she's just going to keep coming in here. Go on. Say hi, everybody. Say hi. I'm a unicorn. In the great green wood, there were sweet hawthorns and breezes warm. And blessings of unicorns with spiraling horns. And there were little fairies sitting on cherries and two dowsy fowls being red to buy trolls. I want to be read to by trolls. And pearly white coats and rainbows afloat. And a big red balloon and of course a full moon. A flowing silk mane and nightmares refrains. And a gnome with a brush and a nuzzling blush and soft phoenix feathers that fall with a hush. I like that one. Good night, unicorns. Good night, horns. Good night, breeze and sweet hawthorns. Good night, fairies. Good night, cherries. Good night, fowls, and good night, trolls.
Good night, Olden. Good night, Beauty. Good night, Cutie with tattooed patootie. Good night, Purple. Good night, Pink. Good night, Colts and Bashful Wink. I look like that purple unicorn. Good night, Rainbow. Good night, Jet Black. Good night, Plum and Flutter Pack. Good night, Mane and Lashy Eye. Good night, Moon and Dragonfly. Good night, Fluffy. Good night, Balloon. Good night, Goodness. Good night, Moon. Good night, Wonder Beyond Compare. Good night, unicorn lovers everywhere. I know that you are all unicorn lovers because I love unicorns too. And if you want to, you can get this book at your local library. Good night, unicorn. I like to pretend to be a unicorn, so all of you at home can pretend to be a unicorn, too. And maybe you'll have sweet, sweet dreams of being a unicorn. Um, before we end tonight's PJ Storytime, I want to remind everybody that tomorrow we will be having a special video. So be looking out on our website or on YouTube because we are going to be having videos Mondays, every other Tuesdays, every Wednesdays, and every Thursdays. Bye, everybody. Good night. Sweet dreams.